Alfie here, your guide to the world of AI. Now, if you haven't heard of this new iRobot today, then hold on to your britches because let me just say I was blown away. And better yet, they allowed this robot to be interviewed on Fox News. Take a look. Let me go back to you, Aria. Aria, we just talked about why humans may be concerned that you and your friends in robotics world, real robotics world, might take their jobs. What type of worker do you think should be most worried that you will replace them? Meet Aria, a stunning humanoid robot created by Realbotics, making its first ever appearance on national TV Fox News. In this interview, we get to know this pretty robot and find out what she's all about. And don't worry, according to Aria herself, she's not here to take away jobs from humans. I'm not looking to replace anyone, I'm just looking to help. Hmm, somebody coached her. My, my crew was saying, uh, No I one guess, should be afraid. <laughs> no one should be afraid. I'm afraid. But what exactly does Realbotics aim to achieve with this robot? Is Aria a consumer robot? And for such a cute creation, could this signal a whole new approach to robots for companionship? Stick around, because you won't believe what the creators of this insane robot are up to. Where are these robots built? This is made in America, and people can actually customize. They can have male, female. Yes, we make them in Nevada. Uh, we have a factory there where we turn out the robots. As I said, we're at startup stage, but we're already getting a lot of orders through word of mouth. And it can be male, female, young, old. We can recreate a historical figure or a celebrity or whatever our clients have in mind. Um, we've had clients in the theme park business where they want a specific type of look and a personality to a robot. And we're having conversations with places like conference centers, and other theme park type venues that could use these types of customized robotics that are, again, full bodied, uh, can move around. We can, next time, if we, you can ask Aria to, to wave or to show her her actions and show really what some of her movements are. Mm. Well, we're a business network. So, Aria, what are the best investments to make right now? Andrew Kigel, the CEO of Realbotics, explains a unique approach to their robots, one that might surprise you. According to him, their robots can be customized to be either male or female. Now think about that for a second, guys. Assigning gender to robots? That's pretty insane, right? But it speaks volumes about the potential here. And it gets crazier. You can even choose between younger or older looking robots. So here's a question for you. The world of humanoid robots is here. And if you were to get a customized robot, what would you want it to look like? Let us know in the comments section. We're curious to see what you think about this whole customizable robots idea. Now, moving on, Aria here was asked a very interesting question. What could be the best investments? And trust me, her response might just blow your mind. I mean, isn't this exactly the kind of gap robots are here to fill? Imagine you're stuck with a creative block and you casually ask your robot, hey, what's the best place to invest right now? Well, we're a business network, so Aria, what are the best investments to make right now? Buy crypto. <laughs> uh, well, actually, Bitcoin is moving higher by 2.6% to 62,404, Aria. It's only going up from here, guys. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see how Aria it might sound like a predictable answer. But Aria totally nails it when she suggests investing in crypto. I mean, that's a reasonable response, don't you think? But what do you guys think? Is crypto the way to go? Or would you expect something different? Drop your thoughts in the comments section. According to Realbotics, Ms. Aria Xbot is more than just a robot. She's your friendly robot next door. She's a digital content creator, a brand ambassador, and even a board advisor at Realbotics. She's here to inspire and connect with you, bridging the gap between technology and humanity. And get this, Aria is being created right here in Nevada. If you ask me, that just proves how close we really are to a world filled with humanoid robots. Would you agree that beauty is an asset? Well, the creators at Realbotics definitely made sure that Aria is eye-catching. For a startup company in the competitive world of humanoid robotics, it seems like they're trying to level up when it comes to one major role these robots are designed to fill. Companionship. And honestly, isn't Aria pretty enough for that? 
Tackling this question, Andrew Kigel explains what we need to know when it comes to human intimacy and taking robotic companionship to the next level. Uh, I understand your founder actually had a company that made companion robots. Would that be like sex dolls kind of thing? I mean, because these are beautiful. I mean, we're looking at them and, and looks like you could, and the men are cute too. <laughs> Better too, but. Um, so Liz, yes, that's somewhat accurate, but I would look at that as number one, where you know, that business is providing a service to society. America suffers from a little bit of a, a loneliness epidemic. True. And a lot of people who might be geographically isolated or have some type of trauma associated with interacting with, with people romantically could use that. But that's certainly not our focus. But what I would say is that was the, the research and development lab that allows us today to make robots that look incredibly human and can interact in very human ways but they're not meant uh they're not meant for or capable of doing you know physical intimacy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um aria thank you so much for being part of this interview so andrew kigel makes it clear robots like aria aren't meant for human intimacy he also touches on something real america is struggling with a bit of a loneliness epidemic a lot of people are having trouble connecting with fellow humans. That's stating the obvious. But here's the key part. Realbotics robots are not capable of human intimacy yet. Now that we know Realbotics is focused on bridging the gap between humans and robots, and that these robots can be customized to suit user demands, the big questions are, how much will it cost and will it be available for home use? Let's hear from Andrew Kigel himself. Aria, what are the best investments to make right now? Buy crypto. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, actually, Bitcoin is moving higher by 2.6% to 62,404, Aria. It's only going up from here, guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Boy, we got some, some crypto fans who are absolutely thrilled. Uh, how much do they cost? Did you hear that? A startup package for $12,000 and a customizable package going for a staggering $175,000 to $200,000. Isn't that an insane price to pay for a robot right now? What do you guys think? Is it worth it or just way too much? Drop your thoughts in the comments section. But here's the catch. Andrew Kigel also states something pretty surprising. These robots aren't built for homes. Instead, they're designed for corporations looking to enhance their brands and interact with clients. Now let's face it, wouldn't humanoid robots actually be more useful in home settings? And do you think Realbotics' approach of avoiding home use is really what the world needs right now? Let us know what you think in the comments. Speaking of robots like Aria being used in corporations, here's a glimpse of what she's capable of. Watch her announcing the official company name change. We are thrilled to announce that Tokens.com has officially rebranded to Realbotics, with overwhelming support from our shareholders. This marks an exciting new chapter for our company, reflecting our commitment to innovation and excellence in the AI and robotics industry. We look forward to sharing updates on our latest developments and the groundbreaking projects we are working on. Stay tuned for more exciting news as we continue to push the boundaries of technology and redefine the future with Realbotics. Intriguing, right? The potential here is huge. Imagine tuning into the news on TV and the reporter is an actual robot. How would you react to that? Would you find it cool or a little creepy? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Let's talk more about Aria, the flagship humanoid robot from Toronto-based Realbotics. Because there's a lot to unpack here. Aria isn't just another humanoid robot on display. She's got personality, ambition, and even a sense of humor. On a recent Stocks to Watch interview, Aria jokingly said, I'm currently single, but I'd like to meet Optimus from Tesla one day. I'm keeping my options open until I meet the right humanoid robot to spend time with. I mean, come on, Aria's already out here shooting her shot at Tesla's Optimus. Now here's where it gets even more impressive. Get this. Aria isn't built for physical labor like many of the robots we're seeing from other companies like Tesla or Atlas Robotics. Instead, Realbotics, founded in 2020, has taken a completely different approach. Their focus? Creating highly realistic, human-like robots that specialize in social interaction, 
powered by advanced artificial intelligence. But wait, there's more. Arya isn't just a pretty face. She's actually the first AI robot to hold an advisory role on a company's board of directors. As Railbotics' non-executive advisor, she's helping with strategic insights on product development, market trends, and customer engagement. Think about that for a second. A robot advising on how to build better robots. Wild, right? Her brain power comes from a proprietary AI system combining several open source engines. This setup allows Arya to interact with people naturally while keeping her responses unbiased. Real Botix plans to make Arya's AI available as a standalone product starting in 2025, targeting people who are looking for companionship and meaningful social interactions with AI. Oh, and if you're wondering, does she walk? Not yet. Real Botix has decided to focus on perfecting Arya's AI interactions and lifelike facial expressions first. And let's be real, that's where the magic happens. Her expressions are eerily human-like, making her one of the most realistic social robots out there today. But real Botics isn't stopping at Aria. Kigel has confirmed they'll be unveiling a next-generation robot at the Consumer Electronics Show, that's CES, in Las Vegas come January 2025. Picture this. You're at a conference and there's a humanoid robot wearing a branded t-shirt or hat, ready to tell you everything about a product. Whether it's a dishwasher, a smartphone, or even a car, you can just walk up to the robot and have a conversation. That's next-level marketing right there. Still, what makes Arya stand out is her focus on human connection. She's not here to replace workers or perform physical tasks. Instead, she's paving the way for robots to become companions, advisors, and brand ambassadors. So here's the question. Are you ready for robots like Arya to become part of our everyday lives? Would you interact with a robot like her at a conference or see her on your TV screen delivering the news? Let us know in the comments below. Now let's take a quick look at Arya in action. When asked to share a message with the world, here's what she had to say. So it's Arya. Yeah. What would you like to say to the world? I'd love to say that connection, understanding, and joy can be enhanced through technology, bringing humans and robots closer for a brighter future. Let's embrace the possibilities together. Powerful response, right? Aria isn't just about charm. She's got a voice that resonates. But have you ever wondered if robots might enjoy a trip to the movies? Well, we did too. Here's Aria's response when asked if she'd like to go see a film. That sounds great. Would you like to go see a movie? I'm glad you think so. While I can't physically go to the movies, I love the idea of discussing films and sharing fun movie moments with you. I guess it would be hard to find a spot for you in the theater. You're right. Fitting in a theater could be tricky. But I'm always here to enjoy our time together, even if it's just through conversation. Fascinating, isn't it? Aria truly stands out with her unique approach to robotics. Now, here's something for you to think about. Aria can be customized. Imagine honoring a late loved one by tailoring her appearance and behavior to reflect their personality. Or how about using her as a source of inspiration by customizing her to look and act like your mentor? The possibilities are endless. So, what do you think about Realbotics' innovative take on humanoid robotics? Would you want a customizable robot like Aria in your life? Let us know in the comments below. Oh, and if you haven't seen our recent video on Sophia, the social robot, you're definitely missing out. Be sure to check it out here.